You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Johnson McIver versus Davenport. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Johnson, you are here today to prove that you are not the biological father of the defendant's three-year-old daughter, Malaya. You and your fiancé say Ms. Davenport is putting you on child support even though she already confirmed another man is the biological father. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Ms. Davenport, you say Malaya was a planned pregnancy with Mr. Johnson, and it wasn't until after he met his fiancé that Mr. Johnson's doubts came into play. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Johnson, why do you believe Ms. Davenport is putting you on support even though another man is the father. Honestly, Your Honor, I just feel like at the end of the day, she knows that I'm a good and an honest man and I'm a hard worker. And at the same time, she knows that I moved on and that I got engaged and I have a fiance now. And on top of all of that, she knows that I definitely don't want to be on child support to pay for a child that's not mine. And so, Ms. Davenport, what is your position here today? You know for certain Mr. Johnson is Malaya's biological father? Yes, Your Honor. And it's not about the support to you? No, Your Honor. What is it about for you? Let him know the truth and let him take care of her, his child. Because you think it's important he knows the truth? Yes. Who does Malaya think is her dad now? Because she's three. Uh, my current boyfriend right now. So you have a boyfriend right now? Yes. And Malaya calls him daddy? Yes, Your Honor. Because he's been there before I um, was pregnant and he was at the hospital with her. He was there when you were pregnant? Yes. Was he there before you got pregnant? No. What was the nature of your relationship? Were you all boyfriend and girlfriend? Did you, um, what, yes. what was going on? We worked at a job together. Um, everything was copacetic at first until, like, years later, I started noticing infidelity, a lot of lies. So you thought you were in a committed relationship, but you say Ms. Davenport was having sex and dating and out with other people. Yes, but at the same time, we were no, in a relationship. Could we no, actually Your Honor. Together? Oh, so you live together? Yes. yes. We used to live together. We stayed together. So, so were you cheating on Mr. Johnson, Ms. Davenport, no, while Your you Honor. were living with him? No, he knows I wasn't. So where does he get this notion from? He only... Because after I um, had the baby, I posted pictures on Facebook of Chris and Malaya saying that he was a dad. Oh, this is what you put on yes. social media? Daddy in Malaya. And he's in the hospital when she's born. Yes. Because I didn't have no dealing with Malik at the time. She did. She just don't want to speak on it. But basically, we were in contact. She said that uh, she would let me know when Malay was born. And I, I did not let him know. The next following day on social media through everybody else and family members that she's got pictures of another guy on social media. He, he, and I, that's told, who the I did daddy tell him is. that he was going to come, but me and him had gotten to an argument. That wasn't and the case, Your Honor. I did not want to deal with Malik. She didn't want me there to sign a birth certificate. And still, even having another person there, she didn't have him sign a birth certificate either. So, that's so there's no father listed on Malaya's birth certificate right now? No, Your Honor. You do realize that once someone told him Ms. Davenport has a picture up on her social media that says Daddy and Malaya, that would fuel his doubt that yeah. Malaya's not mine, that's her daddy. Mm -hmm. And it did, it did. It hurt but me, he... and it, it just had me confused. It, was it just didn't like... have him confused. He, I didn't he know. Knew. I was pregnant way before I met Chris, so he knew. When I found out I was pregnant, I took a pregnancy test. I showed but the him. whole time she he was, was happy. Cheating. The whole time it was infidelity. She sat up there and was trying to rekindle relationships with her exes. That's her pattern. Honor. That's what she does. No, because even honor. now she'll she'll try to rekindle a relationship with Malik. No, sending she him will? naked pictures. No, you're on um, an ask for proof. Texting him Where's what she who? made for Wait, dinner. Wait, hold on, hold on. Miss McIver, what did you say? Malik, yeah, me. she'll send him pictures of her in her lingerie, send her pictures of what she done cooked Your for Honor. dinner, talking about some, oh, you wish a girl could cook like this. Your Honor, uh, Malik just trying to... Malik was texting me all the time. And you were calling him all day, all he night, was, uh, he, uh, talking no, about it's about the baby thing, at 3 o'clock in the morning. When Wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Texting at 3 o'clock in the morning, sending in the morning, pictures of lingerie? Texting. From the get-go, it was drama. Every time we get into it, Malik, like, okay, she's not mine, she's not mine. I'm not gonna deal with that. You I'm say the same thing, though. You'll sit there and tell him it ain't his either. And so I can... This makes you upset. You, yes. Because he you, knows we planned the land. You said you planned. Yes, and he knows this. And so what are you feeling, Miss Davenport? You feel frustrated or betrayed? What, what are you feeling? Betrayed. 
and why? Because Malik knows, like, all the stuff we've been through to just to have a child. And you went through a lot to yes. have the baby. I had two miscarriages because of Malik and his stress. Like, he stresses me out. And I, I've been there for Malik through everything. I took Malik in when he didn't have nobody. See, something about this to me is so personal. Like, I, 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 I want it to just be about Malaya, but I can see it's about a lot more. And that she yes. still has feelings and, for him. And, no, and I don't. I have a hope. Yes, you do. Yeah, no, you I don't. Yes, you do. I don't even want to talk to him. He is always texting my phone. And, I, like, when she's not so around... So, the bottom line is... The bottom line is... Kind of you still had some personal feelings for him no, and he Your was Honor. stringing you along. No, Your Honor. That's exactly well, that's what, what it sounds no, like. Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court cases everyone's going to be talking about. Why is it you doubt that Malaya is your biological child? Uh, Were you there for the pregnancy? Were you there supporting her through the pregnancy? Um, yes, ma'am, in the beginning, but she also sat up there and told me that I wasn't the dad. I even have text messages of this. Have you told him he was not the biological father, Ms. Yes, Davenport? Yes, Your Honor. You have done that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you rang that bell, now we can't unring it, because once you said that, now he's got doubt. All right. Well, he knows. He was there. We planned this. I don't... Well, I was Just plan. because you planned it doesn't mean you couldn't have been having sex with somebody, somebody else. else. Once you tell him she's not your biological child, he's not gonna forget that. Mr. Johnson, you actually submitted a text message to the court. She said, my daughter's still going to school. Her daddy going to pay for it and take care of her. Yes. Your Honor, that's because that's when I was like, well, we, if you even have an inkling in, this, in your mind that this could be your child, step up for her. Because when it, when it gets said and done, and she's 18 and she comes to you, you want to be able to say, I did something, something for you. I did everything in my well, he power had, he hasn't despite done your anything. mother. Right. So your I pushed his... Malik to start paying for the daycare. daycare. He, she he then came back time. and said, oh, thank you for time. paying all my kids, for uh. paying for all my kids' daycare. That's why we stopped. Because he don't want to step up and do what he's supposed to do. That is not do. true. I'm not, I'm not the type of woman that's going to let my man not step up. And you okay. know that but he you, stepped but up. Because he done stepped up for but your you son. Did. So don't okay. sit here. Okay. And I don't. You. I don't. That it's you. It's not you. us. That was you the drama cause. Okay, okay. Lady, no, he, ladies, no. ladies, let's I'm get some order. Me and her be cool. It be Malik. That's why me and her stay in school because of Malik. And I have told her plenty of times, Malik is doing this, Malik is texting me. Can you tell her to stop texting me? He's doing all this stuff. And I have told her plenty of times, but she wouldn't believe everything Malik say. No, no one Then she'll like go that. and she'll text Malik. She'll say, I'm not texting Malik, and I'll be sitting right next to the Malik, and she'll be texting, texting. Because, they because they the whole thing texting. was they were supposed to go through me because they'd be at each other's throats. A couple not... of months ago, he was still trying to inbox me. Oh, can you meet me here? Can you meet me there? And all this stuff. And he got mad because I wouldn't. And that's why they stopped again seeing Malik. No, not that's true. a lie. Yes, not you true. wanna. Mr. Johnson, do you have a relationship with Malaya? She's three. Yes, on What uh, kind of relationship do you have? Um, basically, when I first started getting to see her or getting her, she was still very small and very young. Get she calls daughter. the other guy daddy. Does she call you daddy, too? No. And so how does she refer to you, Mr. Johnson? No, she don't say none of them. She doesn't say anything. She just, she's just three. Right. She just understands my authority and she listens to me. So she knows that you are someone that's in her life regularly? As much as possible, but not regularly because... Of course, Tiffany, every time she gets upset or every time her and her boyfriend are at good terms with each other, I can't get my daughter. Because I know he God. feels insecure because it was Lie. a situation where Tiffany set it up where she wanted me to have sex with her in order to see my child. That's, that's a lie, Your Honor. That is a that's lie. That's not true because you called that my phone back lie, in October and said y'all had sex in my car. Yeah, so, but and he lied about that, so right? So that being said, right? you and just he told him he's that, not right? telling the truth. You're not telling Wait, the truth. Wait, hold on, Miss MacGyver. What, if, what did ha what she happened? She called me uh, a year ago in October, and I'm like, what, what, Tiffany, what do you want now? What drama are you on today? And she was like, I just want to get it off my chest because I feel bad, but me and Malik had sex in your car. In your car? In my so, car. Do we not? Do we not? Because they were, because I was letting them get the car to do we not? facilitate oh, do him and go her on. Do we getting... Not? their daughter. Yeah. I've been trying to help them co-parent and be copacetic with each other. Not yeah. that. For three years. Yeah, not, that co not that Not that copacetic, right. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. So, wait Please. a minute. You let them use your car so they could work on 
exchanging of Malaya and make sure everything was safe and they could get along and yeah. things could be going on schedule. Your Honor. And they end up having sex in your car? Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. Is that true, Ms. Davenport? Yes, Your Honor. Is that true, Mr. Johnson? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. But that was her stipulation. He couldn't... No, she texted his phone and told him. him. He could you not see her daughter. Without you her unless she had sex They are lying, Your Honor. She was trying to be a stand-up guy at the end of the day. Oh, you was trying to be a stand-up guy. Yeah. <laughs> Malaya wasn't even around. Malaya wasn't even around. So he would call me and text me. Mr. Johnson, he would your even credibility me up on work has been just shot. sunk. <laughs> this relationship is a mess. mess. It's a, a hot mess. It is. I mean, so Ms. Davenport, do you truly believe Mr. Johnson is Malaya's biological father? Or are you just hung up on this man and caught up in this net? No, you're on the I, I believe and I know in my heart that he is a father. Well, your heart is And if you had moved thing. on and you got the new boyfriend, why are you having sex with him in the car? Because that's what she do. That's why, really? that's why we... That's why there's doubts now, because that's the type of stuff that she, she, she does. does. Yeah, and so he starts texting and calling again. Well, no, no, no. Oh, that ain't gonna happen. Hold okay. on, hold on. Now, after I've heard what I've heard, yeah, I know he probably was texting. You all were texting back and forth. We, we're not even gonna trip about that. You having sex in cars? Yeah, you texting. I mean, you're gonna do that. You're gonna keep texting. You're gonna send pictures. You're gonna... All of that. All that was happening. It's a fact. But another fact that I think is of paramount importance is that, Ms. Davenport, you're here because you're trying to break a generational curse yeah. because you didn't have your father. Yes, Your Honor. A young woman doesn't operate like this unless there's some very, very deep wounds. And even though the testimony may have been hard, at the end of the day, we have to go through this to make sure Malaya doesn't. Because if you don't confront generational curses and things that affect you, you pass them down. What are you feeling in this moment? Hurt. Why? I know all the stuff I've been through. And I didn't think he would do this. Well, I think it's important in this moment that we begin to see how we move forward. And I think one of the best ways to do so is to start with getting the truth. Mm -hmm. Before I go to the results, I have to ask you, Ms. Davenport, have you considered, have you thought about if he isn't the biological father? That's what I know in my mind and I know in my heart that he is. You haven't even thought about what you will do? No. How about you, Mr. Johnson? I mean, you all have developed a relationship with this baby. She may not call you daddy, but... But my daughters call her sister. My daughters still, when they say yo-yo, my daughters are being affected because they look at Malaya like she's their little Absolutely. Sister. It and affects the whole family. Yeah. We haven't been able to see her, and they're, they're like, well, where's our sister? When's she coming over? And have you considered, if I'm not the biological father, what then will you tell the children? So, so I just want the crazy dysfunction and yo-yoing to stop because it's but, affecting my kids. Yeah, yeah. I am concerned for Malay. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot going on here and I want to get the answers for you and for her now so we can figure out how we pull this thing together. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Johnson McIver versus Davenport. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to three-year-old Malaya Davenport, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you... Are the father. Told you. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> now we finally know. <laughs> you are the father. Does it feel good to finally know? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. How you feel, Miss Davenport? I'm happy. You look <laughs> happy. Tears of joy? Yes, ma'am. Just glad it's over. Yes. Nobody has to doubt your baby anymore. 
She can have the love of her entire village. And you can have some support. To be a mother, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot. And it's important for a child to have their father to be able to step up and just help raise her. Teach yeah. her how a young woman should be treated. I say that, Mr. Johnson, because I'm turning to you next. You can't teach a child something you don't know. You're right, Your Honor. I mean, I feel like Ms. McIver has put herself out there as far as she can go. You've got to take it from here. And I don't mean using her car to have sex with Ms. Davenport mm -hmm. when she trusts you <clears throat> to be dropping off your child. No, I, I, this is real talk. Yes, Your Honor. And you would never want somebody treating your little girl the way you do in these two women. Mm -hmm. You got to straighten up. Yes, Your Honor. Because you're going to be the example to her as to what a man should be, how they should treat me, mm -hmm. what I should expect. And what I see my daddy do is what I'm going to think is okay for a man to do. <laughs> right? Right. All right. We have counseling and resources for you, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. <laughs>